let's get to start demo first so this is same series of dapper using in dotnet core web api and here we last time we implement all the card operation now i'll introduce uh, how we can use a store procedure using dapper in dotnet core web api so this is this uh, session will cover everything for that uh, using the store procedure so i already created this as a demo so once i once i you know find any data regarding that uh, id whatever id is a company id based on this i will return as a data using the store procedure so let me execute so once i execute see i am getting the data and uh, so see uh, that company data whatever that you know employee data right employee data based on this id so employee id is 5 but uh, that employee actually belong to this company and if i change something for example 9 so see the company is belong to 6 right so that will achieve in this session so let's start for the implementation so before moving start implementation i'm especially recommend if you first time visit my channel definitely you have to watch this dapper series here actually i I explain and create all of the stuff like card operation how we can uh, implement uh, insert update delete and read operations uh, for a step by step and complete process so you have to watch first this one and also these uh, repositories available in this my github link so you can check out my github link as well so now I will take same example which I already covered in last session so this is that example we have all that uh, setup over here dot net core along with the mapper and also dapper setup everything is in that repository pattern and service layer and service will interact with our controller right so let's start uh, so first of all what i need to do i have to create a one procedure so let me open our db okay so here my db uh, uh, sql server is a employee db and here i will create a simple one store procedure that is called the sp company by the employee id so whatever company i want based on the employee id i just simply create a query a select statement and join with the employee table along with this company table right and simply i filter this id one so that i need to execute first i uh, don't worry about that this procedure i will uh, share in my uh, uh, repository you can get it from there so it is already exists so that's why it's will not exist uh, it will not create it so once it's done now move it move it go to the code part so first i will just create a one repository that will return our that employee id uh, a company by the employee id so go to the repository i company repository here i need to expose that method first so let me start uh, the create that signature so my signature would be like for example uh, public task and uh, this public task company and uh, get company by the employee id this is my signature and uh, now moving to implementation concrete class so where is my concrete class inside the repository i have the repository uh, implementation here i can implement that so simply i can just using that inbuilt function implement interface once you implement interface so this will a default implementation so what i need to do i have to implement over here so first what i need to do i have to call uh, i have to create actually the name uh, what is my procedure name so i just simply create a procedure name so if you go to that your sql server which i shown you so this is my procedure name right which i have created in my db so same name i have to refer over here then what i need to do i have to create a parameter a dynamic parameter so that i can specify what type of type of the parameter and what is that parameter name so those are things we can do over there so simply i'll just use this one uh parameter add add that whatever name same name you have to keep it like i just use that id right so you just make sure you have just passed same name 
and whatever value you can just pass it here this type also you can mention and whatever that is it is a input type output type because procedure have you know many uh, type right so that's we can mention over here like that and then finally as uh, as before we have done like we have to call this using a uh, statement to uh, create the connection and call that uh, uh, whatever extension method so i will use this like this see the i just create a dv provider connection is connection create connections and then simply i just use that connections query first and default async and pass that you know entity whatever entity i want to return and then here's the procedure name here the parameter name and what is the type so that i can specify over here so this is the important thing so let me zoom in for you this is actually important part so if you're trying to procedure so then you have to specify okay you are trying to command time what is that command time command type that is a procedure so that you can just mention there's a many other uh, type as well so you can see this is a simple text table direction is to procedure and these three types actually available so you can use that uh, is to procedure that is simple and finally you have to return whatever data we have and then it is saved now this repository implementation done now i have to use this one as a uh, in our service right so let me uh, create a signature for the service as well so that uh, that signature can uh, can interact you know this abstraction method can interact in our controller so i have to create that so it's simple again whatever name up to you you can mention i will use that simple uh, get company by the employee id and also i'll just implement in our concrete class so go to our concrete class company service and remove that and necessary and uh, use implementation and again simply i just you know we have already done inject in our company repository right inside this company service so that will use and uh, will implement uh, it will implement and call our uh that is uh repository implementation over here simply so what i need to do i have to call that method go down here Let's simply remove that call this company company repository and what is that our method name our method name is get company by the employee id and uh, what i need to do uh, it is async of it so definitely i have to set as a async and then this should be uh you know map because see this is a returning simply entity right so again i have to convert to dto which i already uh, done actually in last session i have used the auto mapper using the auto mapper i will just use this conversion so it's simple like this simply i use that mapper which i already inject in this year so that's why i'm especially recommend watch my previous session where actually everything i have done so that will help for you so mapper map whatever our uh, you know destination and this is our source so our source is entity and destination is uh, dto so that is done save so now our service has been ready now i have to consume this service in our controller so go to my company controller and here i need to create one more endpoint uh, that is called http get endpoint right so go to here and go to down here i have to just create a one http get endpoint like call whatever name you want you just paste but yeah here just passes the id and same id you have to just map in your parameter so that that route parameter can map over here and simply call is a get company for the employee id here just i already uh, inject this employee service so if you see here i just already implement that injecting and also resolve the dependency and then call that whatever method and pass it the id you will get the id if it is not found then you will get this and if it is found then it will return that's all done let me build and see in action so build succeed let me run and see the output so now it's running see it's running in our as a swagger 
so this is newly we have added endpoint right so once i first just check whatever the company we have uh but it is a coordination for the employee right so first what you need to do you have to check uh like how many employees over there for this company right so let me find that see uh those are you know companies associate with this company uh, company right employee and the company so if you go to uh, select star from employee and just run this query so see these are employee with the associate this company id right so what i will do i have to just pass this uh com employee id which is seven so definitely it will show this company right which is two right so let me pass this one as a seven once you seven see this two company id right so which is a sensor and similar if i use see, two company let me check with nine and if you go to nine you will get this six right so that is expected now this is a way actually you can just call your store procedure in a dapper in dotnet core web api so let me recap once more time so first what you need to do simply you have to create a procedure uh, which will available in our repository i'll show you and which will i provide actually see there is a one section i mention over here I'll just add all the script here so you can use that script employee here where I just mentioned employee ID, company, employee, and everything actually available script and also procedure available over there. So once it's done, you can take it over here. Then, simply, first, what you need to do, you have to just expose new signature and also their implementation. So go to that implementation, you have to implement over here using that. Uh, uh matrix like you know procedure name and then create connection pass that you know set that parameter and also calling that store procedure uh command type and once it's done then you have to go to your service you also again need to expose one service which is called is get company by the employee id and also you have to implement that using that in our know, repository uh, injection so here what you need to do uh, you just call this you know company repository and get this you know get company by employee id and and once you get you will get this you know entity and this entity will return as a entity to dto and simply you have to return back to response once you complete this one then it it should be call in your controller so once you go to your controller here just inject your service and the service have that method and that method actually return the data and this return if it is found then it's okay if it is not found then it is returning uh, not found data and it will show that not found error also so that that's all for this session and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share